Hey guys, so today we're gonna to be tasting Michter's single barrel and small batch bourbon. So both Nate and Michter's are back again, but this time we're gonna be tasting bourbon. So solely bourbon. We're gonna do a compare and contrast. We're gonna see which one comes out on top. So the small batch is interesting. The, the single barrel is obviously one barrel, but in the thing with the small batch is that you're gonna do about six or seven barrels that are melded together, and that's what's gonna come in as a small batch whiskey. Okay, so single barrel, guys, it's just referred to as one barrel. The ones that you see Correct. like like in the in literally in in the warehouse that one barrel that's one. it and so you can get a lot of uh, discrepancy between the tastes and ultimately it is the whiskey maker's decision of which barrels are going to pass and which are going to fail in a single barrel whereas you'll get less of a discrepancy in a small batch because it'll be six or seven yeah there you go facts 101 Nate is the king he knows it all again sing them all daily make sure you check them out thank you brother all right so let's get started on this let's start with um, I'll, I'll start yeah, this one. Yeah, I like that. Good call. All right. Give you a nice good pour. Oh, we're, pour. we're gentlemen here. Right? Absolutely. <laughs> Gents lounge. That's right. Okay. Cheers. Ooh. Yeah. This one was uh, harder on the nose, I think. Yes. Good call. Great call. And, and the reason that's going to be harder on the nose is actually pretty uh, evident here. This is not as old as a 10 year. So in the younger ones, you've got more of the oak hitting the whiskey itself. So you opening up with a nose right away, great call. Now you're getting a lot of spice on the nose. I am, I'm getting, you know, I think it's it, the first one just kind of hit me. Yeah, and so one thing to know about bourbon is that bourbon, to be considered a bourbon, it actually has to be first use wood on the, on the bourbon. Whereas in a scotch whiskey, it can be a second or third or fourth, it doesn't matter. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, so then see? when you taste a bourbon, you actually get a lot of spice from that new oak all the time. Got it, see there's yeah. something that we all learn every single time, just be a student guys, pay attention. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it has a bite, but it's still very sweet. Bite, no burn. That's right. Bite, no burn. You know what, Mixers is doing a killer job. I they mean, really this are. Is, this is freaking good. This man. is caramel all the way, some vanilla coming in, beautiful spice on the palate, maybe a little Asian five spice as it goes down into the finish. Yeah, it has a little bit of a burn, but not too much. Yeah, Enough yeah. where you still feel like you're drinking bourbon. Absolutely, yes. A bit so, of a drying palate. If you definitely. notice that, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. A bit drying, yeah. I think, which is why I typically use it for old fashions. Yeah, know? great idea in an old fashion, absolutely. Especially with what you're getting in an old fashion, it's gonna bring out a lot of the flavor. Now on to its big brother. The 10. Let's try the 10. So I'll pour this for you, because I've already got mine so handy. Nate already got started. <laughs> couldn't wait. He couldn't wait, he was thirsty. <laughs> I think a little more healthy. There you pour. go, there you there go. There we go. All right, so now it's time to try the 10 year single barrel. Bourbon. Let's this, get to it. Yeah, this is my favorite bourbon on the market. I'm just being completely you do. That, honest. That, that's a bold statement. Yeah, honestly, okay. I know it's a bold statement, but everything that Michter's touches turns to gold. I wasn't even a rye guy before I met Michter's, and now I adore their rye, absolutely. So the bourbon is what got me into Michter's, to be honest with you. So cheers. By the way, I'm not sure if you noticed, but the color is a little different on the 10 year, slight difference. It's a little darker, and that's just from it being in the oak longer okay. for that time. Yeah. Do you notice a much more mellow smell on this yeah, one? Yeah, I think I'm trying to, I'm over smelling exactly, it. Exactly, like, exactly, because you smelled that one and it was so open. I just, uh, I'm excited for oh, this. Oh, it's phenomenal. Let's get started. It was very nice. When it hits the palate, it, I, I almost felt like I wasn't drinking bourbon. Right. It almost feels like a caramel yeah. chocolate explosion that just, it's very mellow when it hits your palate. Dude, can I eat this? This is, you can <laughs> yeah, actually eat this. This I is know. really good. Seriously, it is that good, yeah. What they're doing with this every year is one rye will be released every year on the 10 year and then a bourbon every year. It comes out in the, in the spring and the fall. Okay. So they do one launch every season. Beautiful. Yeah, All right, so great. typically what would you drink this with? How, how would you drink this 10 year? Honestly, I would drink this completely neat. If you're gonna drink it, I highly recommend actually two drops of hot water. So when you have the cold hit you, it's nothing against doing it with ice. Ice is great, but you'll inhibit your palate slightly from tasting all the notes on here. So if you have hot, it'll open up your palate, it'll open up your tongue, and it'll open up the whiskey, and then you're gonna taste a lot more here. So I would open Got up it. with two drops. Got yeah. it, so a little bit of, of you said hot or hot. warm? I like hot personally. I hot think it water. brings out more. Yeah, lukewarm is fine. Anything water brings it out, as long as it's not cold. See, Nate, this, this is why you're here. 
This is why he's here. <laughs> gotta, gotta bring my expertise somewhere. All Go right, on. let's do one more. Cheers. That's nice, very nice. Yeah. It's very nice. This goes down very easy, very smooth, zero burn. Yeah, at zero. all, you know? And that's from the mellowed out 10 year of this because that's an old bourbon. If you think about it in t proper terms, a, a bourbon being 10 years is very rare, so. Yeah, this is very nice. You know what, I still, I don't have a favorite. I feel like they're two separate bourbons. They, yeah, they are, great call, um, great call. I totally agree with know, that statement, this absolutely. Is like, this is like, who do you choose, like? No, you're Col Kobe or Michael Jordan, you know, like, <laughs> that's the type of, you know, Absolutely, like, absolutely. Yeah. And I love that you didn't pick, especially because there are really a lot of different characteristics in these two. One was drying, one is just mellow and calming. That's you right. Know? Yeah, absolutely. So great just call. very special thank you to Mictors for sending these over. Great, great. If you guys see them in stores, pick them up. They're not too expensive, right? This runs you about $50, I think it is? That one runs you about 50, and this one runs you about between 250 and 400. Okay, so this is one that you would, you should always have in stock in your always. bar. Absolutely. This is one that maybe you would have for, for a special occasion. Special occasion. A Absolutely. few friends. Great call. Birthday. Absolutely. Yeah. And big thank you to Mictors for sending over these two bourbons. They were great. We highly, highly recommend them. Thank you, Nate, for coming down again. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned because we have more coming at you.